GMIC filters are open source filters that you can use on any image you put into Krita. Here I have a quick sketch of a portrait I did, to which I then add various filters to try to make it a bit more interesting. Here I've dropped in an old artwork of mine, it doesn't have any filters on it from what I can remember, and I'm just going to go through some of the filters to try to give it a bit more texture, more noise, and just make it less clean overall. So all I did was I went to filters, then at the bottom, I clicked gmic-qt. And here we have a list of filters organized into categories based on what they do. We also have a search bar here at the top. So if you know what you're looking for, you can type it in here. For example, this is pixel sort. It sorts individual pixels by the parameters that you give it with the sliders and drop down menus here. You can of course control Z the filter and then shift control Z to redo the filter so you can flip back and forth. I like to make a copy of the artwork on a different layer and just turn it on and off uh, for safety in case I undo it too many times or something and then I'm stuck with the filter. One other thing you can do is select an area using the selection tool and then apply the filter and it will only apply the filter to that selection. So now here I just use pixel sort to do that, but I could copy and paste it so it's on another layer, apply the filter, then use the airbrush tool to soften the edges to erase it where I don't want the filter to be because I'm erasing the top half of the image to reveal that original layer. Now I merge the layers back together. Going back to GMIC, you can see that a lot of filters don't let you zoom out in the preview, so you kind of have to scroll around, which you can do by left clicking. or you can go to settings where you could turn on the setting that allows you to always zoom out. However, you'll find that a lot of filters will display with less detail as you zoom out. Also because these are open source filters, meaning anybody can create and add new filters, Krita has a setting in the other tab, which allows you to change the frequency of the updates to GMIC. And you can even update it immediately if you wanted to by clicking this button. Okay, so let's continue with this. I'm going to copy, then paste the layer so I have two of the same artwork, and I can use filters over the top. Looking through the filters, I kind of like this one label dirty. It adds a lot of needed texture to the painting. With digital painting there is an inherent texture like there would be on canvas paintings for instance. So I like to add what I call digital texture to try to emulate the inherent texture that you would have with acrylic or painting or oil painting on a physical surface. Now one unfortunate thing about GMIC filters is that when you open the window you can't keep it open and then undo the filter you applied. If you try clicking on the canvas you get the standard windows error sound. Anyways, the dirty texture is a bit too strong, so I'm just going to adjust the amplitude here, which seems to be working, that I'm going to erase it a little because I don't want the entire texture to be blanketed over everything evenly. So far I've been using filters in the degradations tab this entire time, but of course there are other categories too, so deformations, for instance, is basically a bunch of filters that warp the image, kind of like the liquify tool does, uh, but it's more themed. So the flower makes it look like a flower, random is random, textured glass makes it look like textured glass. Now I like this one labeled wind. It's it looks similar to pixel sort, but it's basically taking what Krita thinks is the edges of things and pushes those pixels in one direction. I like this because it gets rid of a lot of the black lines that I had left over and it seems to add some movement to everything as well. Here's the back and forth, which I do just by hiding and revealing the top layer via the eyeball. Now we're almost done, but I want to show you some color filters to show you that there's a lot of variety to the GMIC filters, but also to show you that some of these filters take a lot of time to process. The degradations are pretty easy as they just kind of move pixels around or add some pixels, uh, but I found that color changing filters or filters that drastically change the style of a painting, um, like the artistic tab that we'll go through later, often take anywhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes to finish processing. Here we have a pretty cool looking filter called Boost Fade. Now the preview looks cool, but it doesn't seem to be working, so this could be for a couple of reasons. First is that the filter just doesn't work as intended, uh, the preview isn't displaying properly, or I'm just using it incorrectly, which is entirely possible. Um, unfortunately you're not going to find a lot of support online for individual filters. Filters, but occasionally you might have a link in a filter that tells you how to use the filter or in other cases there are notes which tell you how to use the filter directly uh, below the adjustment sliders. Now I couldn't manage to successfully apply a boost fade but I still do want to apply some sort of color filter to this image because it's a bit too desaturated for my taste. Here I added a filter called colorized line art which I haven't used before so it confused me a bit because it added a third layer and edited the current layer which some filters will do but I was unsure in this case because I didn't see it add the third layer when I was in GMIC and then I realized it was because it only added it once I exited 
GMIC, which I've never had happen before. So I just deleted the layer that it darkened, because I didn't really seem to need that. And then I changed the layer mode to the abstract color layer that it gave me from normal to color, and decreased the opacity on the layer until I was happy with the intensity of the colors it added. Uh, now before I end the video, I just want to go through a couple of filters real quick to show you the options that you have. Charcoal creates a black and white painting of your image. Uh, blockism, Brushify, Cartoon, pretty much all the filters under the Artistic tab change the style of your painting, uh, except the Fractal filter that just makes a fractal. It doesn't really use your image as much as I would like it to, but every time you adjust the slider it creates a new fractal, which is nice. These filters, like some of the color filters, may take a while to process depending on the size of your image and how powerful your computer is. And now just for comparison, let's drop in our original image to see it back and forth. It's definitely down to personal taste, I would say. I think I would definitely go softer on the dirty filter if I did it again, but overall I think it looks pretty decent. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to comment down below, like the video, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this.